from Hollywood and Vine. Mark Goodman live on MTV. Right behind me here, this place is the palace at Hollywood and Vine. This is the place where, if you saw the movie Against All Odds, the club scenes were shot here. This is also the place back in the 60s where the Hollywood Palace happened. The Stones made their first appearances here. Right now, everybody is watching Purple Rain, just about a block or two away. And the stars who are watching it are coming by here. People like John Cougar, Andy Summers, Eddie Murphy, Stevie Nicks, Joe Walsh, Weird Al Yankovic. It's all going to be happening here, live, a private party but you're invited. We're gonna be back in about 10 minutes to update you once again. Right now though, some exclusive video. This is Elvis Costello's brand new one.
Did you just flap up? <laughs> Back to JJ? Alright. Alright. Okay. You and the mic Brian, Brian, can you hold it? I won't. What's on the other side? Back to Ellen. Back to JJ, right? This is a news section. Things are getting wild here at the palace. I know that there's a lot of people who are right over here who have been screaming and yelling. They're waiting for the people to arrive. Right now at Man's Chinese Theater, they're still watching the film. Probably uh, about another 20 minutes or so, that film should let out. This place is going to be jam-packed. It's a private party, very exclusive guest list. But you're invited. You're going to be in on the party. Let's get back to you, JJ. We'll be back in about 10 with another update.
You can see that there is a fair amount of excitement here outside the palace in Hollywood. A lot of Prince fans are here. The revolution just arrived a few moments ago. Still to come tonight as our live coverage from Hollywood continues at the Purple Rain Party. You're going to see Ray Parker Jr., John Cougar Mellencamp, Richard Pryor is a guest at the party tonight. You're going to be uh, seeing some clips from the film Purple Rain. We will be talking to Apollonia Cotero, one of the co-stars members of the revolution. All of that happening tonight as our live coverage of the Prince Purple Rain celebration continues. Are these guys excited? Prince fans, all of us here tonight are Prince fans. We're going to see you in about 10 minutes with an update.
to say, I want to rock some more. I'm the latest combination, it's fun of a nation. To rock the show this day, my destination. Not to be, rock the house, yes, yes, I will. Mark Goodman with live coverage from Hollywood. We just saw the Thompson Twins with Dr. Doctor. The excitement is definitely building here. Stars have already arrived, including Lionel Richie, who is inside now. And Stevie Nicks has arrived. Here pacing back and forth is Steve Farnioli, who is not only one of Prince's managers, but also one of the producers of the film. Steve, how do you feel tonight? How do you think? <laughs> I'm incredibly excited and uh, absolutely delighted with the reception from from everyone. Is that what's on your mind right now? No, my uh, standing up straight here and talking to you. <laughs> it's a little overwhelming for me. Yeah. But Steve Farnioli, one of the producers of the film, and a little nervous tonight. Just a little? Thank you. You want to get back inside? Absolutely. Okay. We have a lot more live coverage to come. We're going to be talking to the stars who are in the film, the stars who saw the film. Right now, though, we're going to go back a little ways for some Prince video. This one is called sexuality.
like that. Do I have a back announce? No back announce, right? The party is definitely happening. Mark Goodman live inside the palace now. Just a few moments ago, Prince arrived in a purple stretch limousine. Here he is just walking inside with his bodyguard immediately behind him. This is the scene here. A lot of people have begun to arrive. Members of the band are here. Lionel Richie is here. Stevie Nicks has arrived already. This is the world premiere of Purple Rain tonight. Tomorrow the film opens in 900 theaters around the country. This is one of the hottest tickets in town, tickets to this film. In fact, I was reading this morning that people are actually trading Jackson's tickets for tickets to the film Purple Rain. Now, as I've been saying all night long, this is a private party, but you're invited. MTV taking you inside to this party. What we're going to do now is get back to some video music. This was the first video that we got from Prince, 1999. in Hollywood and the party is happening and you are invited. Earlier tonight Hollywood saw the premiere of Purple Rain. Now it is definitely time for the party. This is the palace in Hollywood. Inside the artists and the movie stars are gathering for the premiere party of Prince's film Purple Rain. I'm Mark Goodman and we are absolutely live here and our coverage will continue for quite some time. We're going to be talking to the stars of the film. You're going to be meeting them and the people behind the scenes as well. Plus, we have some clips from Purple Rain that you will get to see. Now, earlier in the evening, the people were arriving 
at Mann's Theater. It was a wild scene, limo after limo after limo, people arriving, some rather strange cars arrived that night as well, and some surprise guests arrived earlier tonight. And the situation there was much like pandemonium. Stars from the rock world, stars from the entertainment world, everybody came to see Purple Rain tonight at the famous Mann's Chinese Theater on Hollywood Boulevard. Here's how it looked. Apollonia Cotero, what, uh, <laughs> what's going through your mind right now? I just saw my dad, <laughs> and I think he's crying. <laughs> I'm just so thankful to Prince, the good Lord, and every single person out there. Thank you very, very much for being here. And the rain is already here. What makes you a Prince fan? <laughs> uh, the music, the persona, I suppose, the... Uh... It's, a, it's an original. Yeah. Is there something in particular you're looking forward to in this film tonight? Is it the music or the acting or something else? I really don't know what to expect. I've heard there's uh, some violence and some uh, nudity, which I'm not a big fan of. But if it's a part of his true story, then I think so be it. Is there something in the immediate future, perhaps with Fleetwood Mac, that you would like to mention? Not a thing. Murphy! Can I read this? Welcome next, one of the most popular, fastest rising comedians and actors in entertainment today, the star of such hit films as 48 Hours, Trading Places, the best defense is new one playing right down the street, who's currently starring in the forthcoming film Beverly Hills Cop, Mr. Eddie Murphy. Wait a minute, Eddie, we didn't even say anything to each other. Just one question. Why are you a Prince fan? Because Prince is bad. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing the movie. The movie's going to be rough. I wish y'all y'all go all see it tomorrow. The movie's tough. Have some fun. Bye-bye. What are you looking forward to seeing in this film? Prince. Anything more specific than that? Prince. And anything else? Prince. Mr. Morris Day from the time. Let me buy this from you. What's happening? What time is it? Morris, you a little nervous? Not at all. I'm just anxious. Let's call it anxious. What's going through your mind right now? I want to see the movie and then I want to see some lovely young ladies. So y'all hang around, okay? What's happening for the time? You gonna do a tour, a record? We don't want to talk about that this evening. Let's just do Wait, does anybody here want, want Morris to talk about that? Well, then y'all gonna have to stick around for the next time. We're just gonna watch the movie, and like I said, young ladies, hang around. I'm gonna be doing one of these. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Pee Wee Herman. Hi, Pee Wee. <laughs> Hi, Mark. How's it going? Uh, that's okay. Uh, where'd you get that little bugger from? <laughs> that's my cool miniature new little car. I just bought it especially for tonight's premiere. <laughs> I guess you didn't bring a date. <laughs> guess not. Can't fit her in the car. <laughs> you a Prince fan, Pee Wee? Oh, yeah, I'm a really, really. When the doves cry. <laughs> <laughs> Can you, can you dance at all like him? Yeah, I can dance like him, but you know, you know, Mark, this is really Prince's evening, you know, so I don't want to dance or anything like that, you know? I mean, you know, I just feel a little bit funny just being up here, you know? How can you just keep me standing? <laughs> the star of Purple Rain, please welcome his royal badness, Prince. This was happening a little earlier tonight. Prince's arrival at the Mann Theater in Hollywood for the premiere of his film, Purple Rain. As you can see, he rushed inside fairly quickly. 
And just now, people are filing in to the party to celebrate. We're live at the palace in Hollywood. And here with me, we have the lovely members of Apollonia 6. How are you feeling tonight? Delirious. 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 Absolutely. No, we're very thankful to be here. Yeah. And um, I'll tell you what, I want to talk to you about how you feel about tonight. We're going to break away for a second and come back and talk to the members of Apollonia 6. Don't go anywhere or you're going to miss it. Mark Goodman live from Hollywood and the members of Apollonia 6 are here, the lovely members. I feel like I don't even have to ask a question. Just let you look for about 30 seconds. Actually, uh, why, don't, why don't we ask a question? Apollonia, now you, you, you played opposite Prince in the film. Yeah. So that means you probably got to know him pretty well, which uh, most of America certainly doesn't. Why don't you, could you give us a thumbnail sketch of the guy? Um, first of all, I wouldn't call him the guy. Um, Prince... Of his royal badness? Well, Prince is a wonderful human being. He, is, uh, he has a heart of gold. He gives and he gives. Uh, he treats us all like diamonds. He's a wonderful person. Um, overall, as far as you know, the experience with Purple Rain, the true gift to me was his knowledge that he gave me. For that, you know, life is wonderful. I mean, he's a true brother friend and we have self-respect for each other, but the gift of knowledge. This is your, this is your first film, and uh, there were some scenes in there that I thought would be a little bit tough. The nude scenes, were they rough for you to do? Well, being brought up, I always say I was brought up with a rosary in one hand and a belt in the other, you know? I practice Catholicism, my parents are very strict. My parents have love and understanding in anything that I do. I wouldn't do anything that was demeaning to myself or Susan and Brenda, my group. I wouldn't do anything that, that lacked class. To me, it was very sensual. Uh, you keep it, you know, concealed to one's eye. And um, I thought it was a very good taste, which was very important for the film. The first, 
scene, well, I guess it's sort of a confrontation scene in the film uh, for you and Prince, where you go out to this lake. And, lake Minnetonka. Uh, yes, this is the, uh, the anointing scene. I don't like Lake Minnetonka. I love Minneapolis, but that lake was cold. Why don't we let America have a look at that scene, and then we'll talk about it a little bit after we come back. Okay. This is from the film Purple Rain, Apollonia and Prince. Because you wouldn't pass the initiation. What initiation? Well, for starters, you have to purify yourself in the waters of Lake Minnetonka. What? You have to purify yourself in Lake Minnetonka. from Purple Rain and Apollonia freezing. Yes. <laughs> Tough scene, huh? Well, see, I remember when, you know, when everything was coming across, Prince, he approached me, he says, are you sure you want to do it? He goes, you don't have to. We could have someone do it for you, you know, and editing, you know, we'll take care of it all. But I remember, as far as the film matching, it wouldn't make any sense unless I, I was the one doing it. I didn't touch the water. They told me it was 28 degrees. We were losing the light close to nighttime in Minneapolis, winter. Uh, a wonderful man by the name of Al Jones, our stunt coordinator, was there in the water with a wetsuit. And he came out of the water, he says, it's cold, Apollonia. I said, yeah, right. Prince says, are you sure you want to do it? And I said, yes. As far as the film was concerned, it wouldn't match. So, I mean, I wasn't trying to be, you know, a hero, stunt woman of the year, but I knew that it was important. And I remember it was scary. I jumped in, I did it, I lost, I started to hyperventilate. I lost all emotional control jumped out of the water and I thought oh god you did what? a wonderful job what did a wonderful I do? job you're an oh. incredible swimmer no <laughs> I, I did the dog paddle <laughs> what I want to do here I'm gonna I'm gonna let you all get back to the party yes. okay and I'm gonna be dancing with Ollie a little bit later on you better okay? all right better. all right There's three of us against you you know Apollonia six what I want to do now we're gonna be meeting two more stars of the film coming up in just yes. a minute but first I want to give you this preview of purple rain We are live at the Palace in Hollywood, and now two members of the revolution, Wendy and Lisa. How's it going tonight, girls? Okay? It's overwhelming. Completely overwhelming. There's yeah. So many people here that are supportive of this, which makes it all easier. You're new to the band. Yes, I'm uh, a new member. How, how did you get the job? Prince heard me play the guitar in a hotel room who's once. This, who's that? So they can hear you. He heard me play in a hotel room once. And he thought, room. yeah, he thought I was great. He thought I was really good. And then he gave me a call back and asked me if I'd like to join in. And I said I'd be more than happy to. Uh, so 
So that's that's the story. That's the way it really went. Lisa, there's been a lot of talk about this film being autobiographical. You've known Prince for a long time. How yeah. close is it to the real world? How close to the real world? Or to the real man? It's close. Um, it starts out pretty negative, I think. It, you know, he goes through a lot of things, but the film takes you through to a, a better and yeah, happier place. You know, and now, there is in the film there's a definite conflict between the two of you. Maybe you could describe that. Well, the conflict is basically it's, it's self-explanatory. The movie is we want him to play a song of ours, and he doesn't want to play it, and. It's a struggle to let him know that we do care about the music and his contribution yeah. to his career in the film. So Maybe what we should do, we have that a little bit there from the film with the two of you and the little discourse that ensues. So maybe America would understand it better if we show that piece. I think they would. Okay, okay. let's do that. This is another scene from Purple Rain. Hi. I uh, heard through the grapevine that uh, you had a new tune written by a couple great girls. Did you hear it? I knew it. He didn't listen to it. He probably dropped it under his bike and rolled over it. Let's get out of here. Every time we give you a song, you say you're going to use it, but you never do. You think we're doing something behind your back. You're just being paranoid as usual. Wendy. Shut up, Lisa, please. You should know by now that we wouldn't hurt you. You should know by now that we wouldn't put a dark cloud over your head. It's just to make you feel good. You felt this way with us before, remember? Why should he do your music? He's been getting along just fine without it. Next thing you know, you'd be wanting to use his motorcycle. Scenes from Purple Rain, we are here with Wendy and Lisa. I think the important question, especially for a lot of the people who are watching at home, is will the revolution tour? Yes, 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 yes. And we're gonna... <laughs> Maybe I should ask that again. we can. We're, well, all, think, we're so ready. Think it's yes. We're ready to go out. Do you, do you have a ballpark estimate on how soon it will be? Anywhere between November and January. Yeah. Okay, and the we're plans are in now. the works now. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Now, uh, they're telling me that we should break away, so we're going to release you guys and go back to the party. Okay. But again, right. dancing time. I want to dance with you later on, all right? Sure. <laughs> okay. All right. There is more coming. Our live coverage continues. Don't go anywhere. You're going to miss it.
We are back live as our coverage continues from Hollywood. We are at the palace, and here with me, you need Jerome with the mirror. Morris Day from The Time is here with us. How are you feeling right about now? About as good as I could be feeling. Were you in the theater as people were watching? Yeah, I was in the theater as people were watching, yeah. And, and how did you feel? What was the reactions going on? I feel as though I did great. You know, um, I thought the movie was good. I thought what I did was great. Your modesty astounds. What can I say? Um, you, you probably know Prince pretty well. How close is this film to being autobiographical? About as close as Mars. No, I don't really know. I mean, you know, there's a lot of personal things I don't know, you know, about him. Just like there's things about me he don't know. How, okay, so how close is this film to uh, expressing the kind of person that you are? I think it's pretty close, yeah. This is your first feature-length film. What does the success of this film mean to you? Well, I like the way the girls was hollering when I came out the theater. Uh, is that all it means, girls? No, it means a lot more than that, but you know, I don't want to get heavy on you. I'm just enjoying the evening. I'm trying to get back to my champagne and, you know. Maybe we could have some champagne brought over. <laughs> do we want to do, do the roll-in? No? Okay. What I want to do is uh, sort of ask you to just look out to America if there's anything specific that you would like to say. This is live television, Morris, and there are a lot of beautiful women watching MTV. So uh, if you, have, this is your camera right here. If you just want to say hello, right, right, right there. America, what time is it? Morris Day. Thank you very much, Morris. Back to the party. The champagne is waiting, I see, and so is that lovely lady. Thank you, Morris. Also here with me is. Lindsay Buckingham, who has just come out of the theater. How are you doing, Mark? I'm doing fine. Doing this here. this works. Right. Good. What did you think of the film? It was a gas. It was a gas, yeah. So something, uh, now, going in, I asked you about specifics. Was there anything in particular that you were interested in seeing? Is there something, looking back, that you particularly liked, whether it was the onstage performance, the acting? Uh... Cinematography was excellent. Uh, Prince was as strong on film as you would expect him to be. Those are the two strong points for me, and of course, the music. Do you think that you would ever consider an acting career or a film career? No one's asked me yet. Uh, if they do, I will think about it. In the meantime, I'm going to stick with what I know, which is music. What, uh, real quick, I know we're going we're gonna to go and show some video. You got a brand new record out. That's right. And uh, a wild new video that we've been showing and that right. people really love. Now, are, are people going to get to see you doing any solo stuff on stage? I think so, eventually. I, uh, I can't say when. There's some speculation as to whether I will tour behind this album or not. Uh, well, I figured you were here, so I may as well ask. Yeah, I, we're going to wait and see what happens, I think, you know. Uh, everything is sort of by ear right now, but uh, we're very excited about this record, uh, working with new people, and uh, it's just a, a very, it was a very exciting experience for me, so uh, right. we're very excited. Thank you very much, All Lindsay. All right, Mark, good to see you again. Same All here. right, same here. We're going to go back. Lindsay's going to go back to the party. What we're going to do, as far as you're watching at home, we're going to do some video from Prince. Now, a lot of people are saying that this film is autobiographical, and a lot of it has to do with the lyric to this song. This is When Doves Cry. Yeah. 
got to get him in position. Give me a level. Mark on this side. You got Mark. Mark to the Yeah, things are getting really intense out here, man. I can't see nothing, can't hear nothing. Live coverage from the Palace in Hollywood continues celebration for Purple Rain. I have three amazing artists here with me. Eddie Murphy, Sheila E., Little Richard. All these people have just come from the film. Now, why don't I start with you? How did you feel about it? Did you like it? Well, what I felt about it is, you know, um, Prince is, uh, what I felt about it, Prince is an old friend of mine. And uh, I really, he's me in this generation, you know. Uh, I, he's me for looks, you know that though. Michael Jackson is me. Uh, uh, the Beatles was me, all of them are me, you know that. And so I had, a, I had this Bible made, especially for Prince, and put his name on the bottom of it. I wanted to give him this lovely Bible and this beautiful book called Steps to Christ. Let him know that God cares for him and God loves him. And God gave him that wonderful musical gift. Thank you, the one and only Little Richard. Sheila, you saw the film. What did you think about it? I thought it was great. I mean, there's, there's no words to explain. It was really good. I'm really proud of him. Now, you've known him for quite some time, haven't you? Yeah. Is this, is this an autobiographical movie or not? It's up to you. Whatever you think. Whatever we think? Yes. But you know. So, it is. Sure. What things are close to home in the film? Everything. <laughs> A, a woman of a few words. Now, you, while well, you have a co-credit on the vocals on Let's Go Crazy, right? No, on Erotic City. On Erotic City, I'm sorry. So you've worked with him before. Do you plan to work with Prince again in the future? Yeah, probably. We're going to start working on a couple of things later on this year. Yeah. Okay. Sheila thank you very much. Mr. Murphy. <laughs> Eddie, you just saw the film too, right? Yes. You want, to, you want to tell us what you thought about it? Well, I feel like Prince is me in this generation. <laughs> I am. <No. laughs> um, you should ask someone that has a non-biased opinion because I'm a Prince groupie. And Prince should come stand like this for two hours and I'll go, yes! So <laughs> you should uh, ask someone else. I love the movie. I think it's unbelievable. I think the man's a genius. You're, you're a James Brown fan too, aren't you? Yeah, well, James Brown is me in this generation. 
<laughs> have you have you uh, worked a, a Prince uh, impersonation into your act yet? Uh, <laughs> I got a lot of different stuff I'm doing my act next time I go on the road. That's to be way Did you want, we're going to go to commercial in just a second. You got got a half a second to do your Prince impersonation for the first uh, time live. I got to wait on that one to next. What about James Brown? Got to wait on that one too. I did that already. You did James commercial. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. See, but no, you see, I'm running this, and we're not going to commercial until I want to go. So uh, if you and oh, if you Larry, leave, this is Larry, say hi, Larry. <laughs> Larry, gonna, wait, Larry is Prince of this generation. You're gonna, uh, you're gonna be doing some music, aren't you? Last yeah, time I'm we talked, right now. you're doing I'm a record. I'm having some problems with my record company, but they've been resolved. And you have a band together, and you are singing, or are you playing? Or? I have a band together, yeah, but I'm writing and producing and singing. You're recording music, and you're playing all the instruments, or? Oh, my demos in the studio. I record. Yeah. I'm not a musician. I'm a comedian. See, that's why I can do this music thing. Because if it don't work, I just go. It was a joke. <laughs> Are you going to write uh, serious songs and really yeah. expose another side of Eddie Murphy? The, the music is completely music. It's like, it's all serious. It's nothing, no joke. Kind of you got to go to commercial. They're waving. They're waving? You know about live TV, don't you? Jeez. We're live from the palace. We're going to go away, but don't go anywhere. Live coverage continues on MTV. Live coverage from the palace in Hollywood. The party to celebrate Purple Rain continues. And we got two. I'm lucky just to be here with these two big celebrities tonight. I feel so happy about the whole thing. Me too. Oh, me too. John Cougar Mellencamp and Weird Al Yankovic here tonight. You guys seem to be having a great time. I'm gonna, what we're going to have to do, because I, I can't talk to both of you at the same time. Let's talk to John first, then we'll talk to, to Weird next. Oh, well, okay, Mark, I guess I'm <laughs> You just came out of the movie. Yeah. What, what are your feelings about it? Well, I'll tell you, I think that, uh, you know, comparing it to other rock and roll movies like Help or something like that, it's a far better movie than that. And I think that, uh, you know, it was, a, it was nice just to see Prince talk, because you never get a chance to see him talk. I think it was great. What, you, you ever think about doing that yourself? No, never crossed my mind. <laughs> Even now, after seeing the film? Uh, if I did if I did a movie or something like that, it wouldn't be a music movie at all. You know, I think it takes a special person to pull that off, and he did it real well. I, I notice there's no pink paint on your arms. No, I, uh, MTV got me some turpentine and washed it all off for me. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're a big Prince fan. In fact, uh, on your shows, 
before your live show, you were right. playing Prince on the on the speakers. Yeah, well, one time about uh, when uh, 1999 first came out, uh, I was playing in front of 10,000 people. I stopped in the middle of the show, ran backstage, got a ghetto blaster, and played Little Red Corvette before it was even on the radio. <laughs> Big fan. Big fan. Uh, Weird Al, I think you're a fan of Prince too, aren't you? I'm a big fan of Prince. Yeah. What are your feelings on the film tonight? Smart King is loving on this, I thought it was pretty darn cool. I mean, we all knew that Prince was a great actor, but who knew he could sing? I mean, what a guy. <laughs> I, I love that stuff. I can see that in the paper now. Weird Al, who knew he could sing? <laughs> that Prince guy. You know, I love, I love when he does this thing with his, with his arm. That's somebody else. What is it? Oh, no, the, the thing with his hand. I love, I love this thing. That's great. I love that. <laughs> terrific. That's terrific. <laughs> Are you going to sort of work on getting any of his moves down, perhaps? Well, I'm going to pra practice it after the party tonight. I'm going to catch some more free food and then go home and uh, maybe work on a couple of the moves. All right. John, what, you got something happening in the immediate future for you? Well, I'm going in and uh, going to mess around with the blasters on a couple songs, or a song for sure, you know. So, uh, I'm... You, wait, you said mess around with the blasters? Was that what you said? Yeah. Well, you know, uh, do we sort of define that? Does that mean play with them, produce them, uh, uh, sing? Or? Produce with them, I think, is what I want to do. You know, it's uh, things, when opportunities come up like that for me, it's fun. And uh, they've got about three or four songs. They've got an album completely done, which I've heard, which sounds real good. Uh, and I think we're going to try, uh, you know, try to take a little step further, maybe. And, uh, you know, I, I met those guys about uh, four or five years ago in Italy, and I've been fans ever since. So, uh, you know, I. I got my fingers crossed for it. What about for your stuff? I haven't even thought about it. You know, I haven't even thought about uh, my own career right now. You know, uh, I just put an album out, didn't I? <laughs> they just go like that, yeah, don't they? Like Weird Al, I've heard a rumor. Maybe you can confirm it for us now. I've heard a rumor that Al TV is uh, threatening to return. Uh-oh, yeah, I'm getting my, uh, my uh, pirate satellite broadcast system uh, fixed up a little bit. And, uh, if I have time, I may just uh, invade the airwaves for a couple hours. Well, but you'll never know when. I won't tell. Uh, this is one of these things I guess America is just going to have to keep watching, and we'll see what happens. I guess so. want to thank the both of you. Appreciate it. All right. Back to the party, you guys. Okay. What we're going to do now is uh, do a little piece of I Would Die For You. This is the first time on television Prince from the film Purple Rain performing I Would Die For You. yourself. Everybody is sort of getting to know each other here. It's a warm kind of friendly it's, thing. Lionel Richie. Lionel Richie. Huey <laughs> Herman. Ann Wilson. Howard Lease. Where's the waitress? Let's get some drinks over here. More champagne for everyone. Champagne. Maybe, maybe I'll start on my left. Lionel, you just saw the film. You want to give us uh, just some off-the-cuff reaction? Yeah, I'll tell you. Um, I'm a fan, first of all. You got to tell I got to say that out front. Um, I think he didn't try to do anything more than he gave us a story of Prince. And it was really great. Because in his own way, he didn't try to go after Gone with the Wind. He just did his thing, and that's the best. This Good. movie, everybody's saying in the reviews, this is an important rock movie. Why do you think it's important? Well, it now becomes an extension. In other words, what, we, what we've been doing for a long time is taking each song and making a video out of it. What he has made now is a motion picture out of his album. It's a very important step, I think. Yeah. We have a concurrence from the table here. Did I? Did I? Did I get it? 
Pee Wee, what yeah. would you think about the film? I, I really loved the film. I felt exactly the same way as my good friend Lionel felt about it. And also, I'm really a big fan of Prince's too. I have all his records and everything, Listen, so I was really thrilled. But what about, uh, there were some scenes in there that uh, I wasn't sure. <laughs> uh, I know which scenes you're, you're referring to, Mark. I just met Apollonia a little while ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I didn't. I wasn't sure if you were old enough to catch those uh, scenes or not. Are you kidding? How could you miss? <laughs> what about you? Did you did you like it, Ann? Did you like it? Yeah. 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 I thought that the camera loves that boy, and I think that as much as I love Little Richard, who I just met a couple of minutes ago, he's no longer the handsomest man in show business. Now it's Prince. Ah. But but uh, time time goes along, you know. Yeah. <laughs> What, what's happening for Heart now? Can you update us on what, what's oh, going on with the well, band? <laughs> well, we're uh, we're just writing songs for a new album, uh -huh. which is going to be out at the first of the year, and uh, we're making new videos and you know, all those things you're supposed to do when you're in rock. And, and you have uh, a lot of success happening right now with uh, your first oh, duet. Oh, huge, wonderful success, yeah. yeah. You're yeah. being facetious, but that's it's great. A lot of people are <laughs> no, no, really big. Actually, I'm serious. We're doing real well, and uh, the band is a really happy, tight, solid thing, and it's... Um, never been better within the group, really. It's, it's great. Hope you're having fun at the party tonight. Oh, yeah. This is wonderful. I yeah. love it. This is the funnest part, though. You know, yeah. This is the best one I've ever time. been to. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Before we go, I know we're going to have to go away. Um, what, what's going on with you now? You just completed a tour? Vacation. Absolute vacation. I'm on my way now uh, back to the south to discover the woods for about a week. Yeah. Back to Alabama, Tuskegee, Alabama. I'm going to slip on the college campus for a minute, then I'm going to go to Hawaii for a minute and cool out, and then back to the back to the studio. Everybody's just going to relax. That's pretty much what's going to be happening at this party now. We're all going to go to the party and enjoy ourselves and have a little fun. I hope you're going to do the same thing. We've been live from the palace in Hollywood celebrating Prince's first film called Purple Rain. Everybody's having a good time, and I hope you're having a good time as well. We are. We're going to leave you with the one called Let's Go Crazy. This is the one that starts the movie, in fact. Let's go crazy for Prince. Good night from Good night. the palace.